Uh, now me, me, like, look, I tell people about my um, Mac Johnson reality. I question everything. Everything deserve to be questioned. Not because, you know, oh, because it's, it's church is about something good. It is all about Jesus Christ and the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And ignore that, you know, part and question the world. No, when you have, you know, when you about truly investigating something that is trying to find an answer that I love my boy Sherlock Holmes do, he, you question everything. You, and that's what any detective, you know, the people that reported the murder, you, you question the people that reported, you know, and called and, you know, uh, get information on them concerning their, their whereabouts in the night of the murder, you know? Even the people that called, any people that's trying to help, any people that cr come and see the dead body and cry and weeping because it was somebody close, D people deserve to be questioned, you know, to really truly to get in a, 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 an investigation of finding the truth. And I learned that the truth is, you know, uh, not prejudice of anybody and anything, you know what I'm saying? The truth can be anything and in anybody and anything. And that's the thing about what the Mac Johnson reality is going to question and question both sides of the coin, not be prejudiced of the ideal of, well, they're, they're, you know, that's the church and they do, uh, they minister the gospel of Jesus Christ and they serve God and, you know, they're, they're not the bad cause of this situation. No, nope, that's not Mac Johnson, the reality. Mac Johnson reality going to question all things just like the ideal of first corinthians 2 and 10 you know you search it all things question search it all things and you question all things is what this is all about here you know so and guess what you you become a bad guy some apparent reason the truth comes a bad guy well before i want to get to this uh, message and god jesus reminded me when i was walking from uh 7 7 11 yeah and he said mac remember what the world system what it does to the truth you know you know what the world system will do to the truth the world system will put the truth will beat the truth with 39 lashes and a crown of thorns on his head and try to get rid of it that's what a system will do because i think religious people was in charge of getting rid of the truth and 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 the people in the world concerning the roman you know empire was in charge of getting rid of the truth see see you got two religion and and worldly people getting rid of the truth you know this is what people do to the truth but that's a really another message but let's get back to the message at hand is the church understanding the true divine nature of God hmm well you know divine is a very unique way of describing the power of God because divine is based upon in heaven essence you know what I'm saying this is a heaven essence kind of like you know if we we there's natural energy and there's spiritual energy. And spiritual energy is a divine energy. What you call, yeah, a divine energy is what, uh, the, the, is, is a spiritual energy. Let me see, okay, so divine is spiritual energy that, on, that is an energy that of heaven, you know, power, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, when you're just strictly of heaven power, and you operate in heaven's ability to accomplish things. As you see, Jesus, you know, did miracles and, you know, with the divine power of heaven, pretty much. And, of course, the, uh, the apostles, when the Holy Spirit left, uh, Holy Spirit filled the upper room, 
gave them the Holy Ghost that they were they had power to do the miracles as what Jesus Christ did. See what I'm saying? There is a a certain power from heaven is what divine power is supposed to manifest. You know what I'm saying? And divine nature is, is supposed to be something that we are supposed to be performing in if we are what's that ideal is called following directions according to the word of god if we're following directions according to the word of god the res results are supposed to speak for itself just that simple the results of the power of the divine power is supposed to speak for itself but the problem these days Unfortunately, um, people are not questioning things and people are not investigating things based upon result. They're based, they're, they're questioning things based upon what they, something of a, 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 a nature, you know what I'm saying? Or a worldly nature, you are questioning how this church system operates concerning the the worldly nature of how it has been operating for a long time and it been have operating long time if you go to church on sunday morning and you you know and you go to church on sunday morning and you uh you 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 hear a preacher and a preacher does this and a preacher that says that and I mean, you go to Sunday school and, you know, and you have a praise and worship service and then the preacher say this and, you know, the, rit the ritual, the routine, I want to say, the routine of church has been going on for a long time. And, and, and because it's a natural routine that associates, that feels good and you feel uplifted and spiritual, you know, feeling that feels good. Notice the feel good that feeling is supposed to be something based upon the flesh um, that is now deemed within and, and, and many people are doing this and it's a way of life that life had been the way of life that has been going on for a long, long, long time, you know this way of church and you know, you got churches that has, you know different you know ideals you know they they call them denominations you know they got a baptist and they got the methodist and the pentecostal and the presbyterian and the catholics and the presbyterian and they have the lutherans and have a lot of them yeah and and you see all this going on and and you take a look at that bible <laughs> or more likely you be like jesus christ when he came to the scribes and Pharisees in Matthew 21, I believe. And I believe you go down to the uh, 40, 40 part, 40 area, and you read about that Jesus asked the scribes and Pharisees, and he said, have you ever read the scriptures? <laughs> That's what, I mean, I, I wanna just quote that part. Have you ever read the scriptures? You know, and you ask that coin, I mean, G, the person we represent in Jesus Christ says to the scribes and the Pharisees, religious people, have you ever read the scriptures? You know what I'm saying? And he talks about that uh, people that are the, the builders are the, the stone that the builders have rejected. You know what I'm saying? The stone Jesus Christ is the stone that the builders have rejected. Of course, quoting from Isaiah. Jesus loved quoting from Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, the stones where the builders have rejected them, you know. And he is, he's talking about this. And, talk, and Jesus, like to me throughout the, new, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, keeping it real 100, uh, speaking of the kingdom of God concerning of how it's supposed to be uh, established. And then you get the, you know, the apostles, you know, Paul and John and Mark and, and, and the, what we got in the Bibles. And, and we get, of course, Apostle Paul that's converted. And he's speaking of an ideal 
uh, structure of the church that is supposed to be operated in the scriptures based upon the unity of the spirit and the unity of the faith, you know? And you look at these scriptures and you're like me and some more, some, a, bit, a few people, and that is, you know, seeing this routine ritual that is not producing the outcome that God, that is advertised in the scriptures. You know, you're like, what, huh? Uh, what, huh? For me, um, and everybody's like, well, you know, well, we've been doing it for so long and this how, how is it, how it goes and this is how it's supposed to be. This is how it goes in our natural ability, not the divine ability, because if it's divine and it's of God, and God does things as what Jesus says in John 4, 24, in spirit and in truth, it, you know, and, and it's supposed to be producing truth results, you know, it's not operating in a divine energy, it's the, operating in a natural energy that is of the world, pretty much. And now, you know, people are now deem this ideal system of the church world as yes they deem it as uh something of god you know what i'm saying yes this is something of god this is something of the divine god this is something that is supposed to produce the works of god that they advertise on television and radio y'all have a good day you know what i'm saying they they, they produce these uh, outcome they telling you that this is God and this is this and and you just look throughout what Jesus said and and Jesus says if any kingdom divided against itself shall not stand and Jesus talks about the uh the wine you know you can't put a uh, new wine in old bottles you know you know you got to get new bottles to hold new wine you know that you're supposed to be doing a new thing you know that says in isaiah 43 and and you and you see jesus said in mark 7 talks about 13 talks about making the commandment of word of god none effect through your own traditions and you shake your head and look at these scriptures and you look at this church and look at these scriptures and like what is going on here you know what i'm saying and well the simple thing is supposed to be you know i think that should says i don't think divine's nature is coming through here is the outcome the outcome a lot of bad outcomes are coming out of this world system of a lot of deaths a lot of a lot of confusion conflict and chaos is more happening right now than it is divine action going on people hate one another more than they love one another you know what i'm saying people operate in more sorrow than they're operating in joy people are operating more violence and you know than peace hmm and and the church is supposed to represent the light of the world that his light he's called the light of the world because his light can light up the whole world but if you're not following his instructions properly to where it's supposed to be at, that lighten up the whole world process will not fulfill itself. So the question is, is the church system are operating in the divine nature of God? Well, I'll leave it for you to ask, answer that question concerning your own investigation and speculation of the divine nature of God. And, and if you do have a true relationship with God and not a religionship, that is the evil part that, you know, had Jesus Christ led the, led the march of Jesus Christ's crucifixion, you're not going to understand the divine nature concerning a real relationship with God to truly find out what is divine and what is not of the vine that Jesus describes in uh, John 15 and 15 that posts to, you know, if they're not divine, you will be like in a fire and burnt up and stuff like that. Yeah. So you question and find out and question what is divine nature and what is not divine nature to truly find out what is of God and what is not of God. You don't really need me to answer this question for you. Answer it for yourself. 
And that's the message. God be the glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.